If you're looking to hold Bitcoin, you're probably in the market for a Bitcoin hardware wallet or a service that helps you do so. BitKey is the solution that promises to be one of the easiest. Their slogan even says, burn your seed phrase, counter to everything I've ever said when it comes to securing a Bitcoin wallet. My name's Darren, I've helped thousands of people use Bitcoin. In today's video, we're gonna cover a review and setup of the BitKey, unboxing it, setting it up, using it, transacting, the benefits, the risks. I'll start with the basics and dive into the deeper technicals as we go, and then ultimately tell you the truth of what the BitKey really is. Majority of Bitcoin wallets you use in the industry are a single key. If you lost that device, if you mistakenly provided it to someone, your Bitcoin could be gone forever. So it's essentially a single point of failure. But the BitKey is different. It has been created as a two of three multi-sig. And multi-sig is just a fancy word for multiple keys. This comes as an advantage because if you lost one of the three keys that come with the BitKey, you would still be okay. So helping avoid that single point of failure. This is also great for inheritance purposes as you're able to give one key to your heirs. However, the negatives of multi-sig is it's very complex. The good news is BitKey makes that super easy. They hide all of the key information in the background so you don't need to know your XPubs, what quorum address type, the script types, that's all taken care of in the background for you. Now, BitKey is a subsidy of Block, better known as Jack Dorsey's company, which includes Square, Cash App, Title and more. You can buy these directly from them, even on Amazon or at Best Buy. So when unboxing the BitKey, it comes with the instruction manual, the device itself, and a USB cord that's USB to USB-C. This is really just for charging the device, possible software updates in the future. The device itself is unique. It is nothing like I've felt before. A metal on the back, fingerprint sensor on the top, you're going to need the BitKey app to get started, which is either on Android or iOS device. There's no other app that it will work with. First step is to pair it because there's an NFC reader in the device, and then you're gonna set up your fingerprint. You can save multiple fingerprints, but at this point you could just set up one and move forward. So it's gonna bring you to a screen where it wants you to back up this device, the multi-sig that we're setting up to your Google account. And unfortunately, this is the only option for backup. Um, you're going to have to select all of the approvals on Google or else you're gonna get an error, uh, at least in my situation. Secondly, you're going to have to set up um, your email as an alert notification. It doesn't have to be your Gmail, it can be a separate one. Now, I don't wanna put my phone number in here just for privacy purposes. Uh, so I'm just gonna continue. After you agree to the terms and service, it's going to bring you to the home page. This is where you're gonna see your balance, where you're gonna receive Bitcoin, where you can buy it, the current price of Bitcoin. First things I'm gonna set up in the BitKey is a security center. It's gonna give you a checklist of actions to set up from a fingerprint to a recovery contact, biometrics on your phone or on the device. And then down below, it gives you a green light if all of these have been set up to BitKey's liking. And recovery methods, there's four steps for you to follow. The first is the emergency kit, kit which is downloaded to your Google Drive by default. Now I've downloaded the, bit, the emergency kit. Uh, this is what it looks like when saved on your Google Drive. It has all of the options to recover your key, recover your app, recover the cloud server key that they have there. In the settings, we can change the currency, whether it's displayed in Bitcoin or sats, you can hide the balances, notifications, you can adjust these settings. You can add multiple devices if you like. And this is where you can actually connect to your own node. So a lot of Bitcoin wallets don't allow you to do this easily and that's a great feature of the BitKey. Um, you can also consolidate UTXOs. I would say the Bitcoiners who worked on this did a great job in designing the wallet. Now inheritance is one of the reasons you should come to the BitKey. So how the beneficiaries work is you're gonna invite the beneficiary, they're going to accept it, and then if anything were ever to happen, a security period of six months would essentially lock your Bitcoin because again, BitKey has all the ability to lock your Bitcoin because there's no way to recover their other keys outside of the BitKey. The only way they would be able to get your Bitcoin is if they had their own BitKey account. They're probably gonna to need to buy a BitKey and go through that whole process with them. This is not a very private way of doing inheritance. 
And if you worked with other inheritance companies like an Unchained, Casa, you'd actually be able to recover to a single SIG or another account somewhere else. So when inviting a beneficiary, it's going to give you a code to send them. You can send it via email, text message, however you like. So if you're using your wife, you can invite her with this information and it's pending until they accept. This is what it looks like from a beneficiary's point of view. They're going to put in their name after they've downloaded the app. They will say, no, I don't have a BitKey yet. Again, they will have the ability to buy it at a specific time. They can copy that code to save 30% off. Now they can't get really anywhere without having a bit key. So they'll probably just have to keep this invite code around in the future. Now recovery contact can help you essentially be a person to get you back into your wallet if you ever lost one or two of these devices. And again, I'm going to use like if your wife as if you had a wife as an example, you're going to save the recovery contact. And it's very similar. You can you can copy the text to send it to however you like. And this is what it'll look like from their end. So you'd put they would put in their name. The recovery contact is now secure. Again, they would need the Bitcoin app or the BitKey app on their phone at all times for, for them to be a recovery contact in your name. Okay, now we're gonna receive some Bitcoin. So I'm gonna be sending it directly from another wallet. So I'm gonna copy the address and head over to my wallet that I'll be sending the funds from. Unfortunately, there's no way to verify this address on the device and that's one of the negatives of the BitKey. So I'm fully trusting the BitKey app that this is my address, not their address or an attacker's address when sending. Now that I've sent the funds from my wallet, it instantly populates in the BitKey. Now it shows as I've received it, but down below it does say pending or processing because when you send a Bitcoin transaction, it is essentially in an auction system until a miner selects that transaction to be included into the history books forever. Good thing about BitKey is it can link directly to the on-chain transaction where you can see it yourself, see how long it's going to take. So at this point, you're not able to move the, bit, the funds off the BitKey until it confirms. Once your transaction is confirmed, it'll say transaction received, and now you're able to send Bitcoin off of here if you want. So it's officially in your hands on the BitKey. Now we're going to send. When sending Bitcoin, you're always gonna have to ask yourself, okay, where am I gonna send the Bitcoin? So I've copied that address from another wallet that I'm gonna be receiving from. I'm gonna put in the amount that I want to move. And as you start typing, it will say, do you wanna send the max amount or your amount there. So I really like that UI. Then it will bring you to the fees section. Unfortunately, they don't have custom fees. And then once we choose our fees, we will move to the next step. And it will give you a full breakdown of your transfer, how much Bitcoin is going and the fees you're associated, you're moving. First step is to confirm with your BitKey itself. So you will need the BitKey when moving your entire balance, that's for sure. And all you have to do is press done it automatically is signing with one of the keys in the background. And again, it will say pending until it's confirmed. So now we're gonna talk about restoring the BitKey. So let's just say I got a new phone and I have the BitKey. So it's actually picking up your Google account where your backup is stored. And then it will pull that backup from your Google account with your BitKey. And now it's gonna restore the entire wallet all you needed was the BitKey itself and access to your Google account. So this example is if you lost your phone or got a new phone. You can remove all those devices. Let's say you lost the phone or it was stolen. You can remove that moving forward. And then it will regenerate your exact multi-sig setup that you have. So it shows all of the same balances that we had, all the ac recent activity. You can see that we recovered it properly. Now, would I personally recommend the BitKey? My answer is not really, not if you use Bitcoin on an everyday basis, if this is where you transact your wealth. It's really for those who are maybe just buying Bitcoin once, holding it for the future, just not really touching it again, not adding to it, not subtracting to it, and are kind of technically challenged. So I think this would be perfect for a spouse, a family member, it might even be you that fit into this category and that's okay. At the end of the day, this is not really a hardware wallet. We gotta kind of call it what it is. It's more of a two-factor authentication device. The problem is, is trust. It's more of like a 1.5 or 0.5 
of three multi-sig. You're trusting one, the BitKey to stay in production. You're trusting their app to stay on the app store and you're trusting their servers to keep your third key alive. And without them, there is no way to recover. Unlike other wallets, let's say this manufacturer, for example, went out of business, you would be able to recover your key or your Bitcoin on other wallets in the industry. And that's just not the case with BitKey. Now on their website, they do talk about how it, recovery is essential for self-custody. They're working on a feature that'll allow to export this system and take it to other wallets, other software if they choose. Now, just besides the recovery aspect, when it comes to transacting, it's a bit dangerous too, because there's no screen, you can't verify any of the transactions. So again, you're fully trusting BitKey with all of your transactions. Also, privacy is a large concern. Now, this is a company, they have access to all of your billing information because you bought it with them. They have access to all of your email, your cloud storage, the phone that you're transacting on. Not only can they see all of your balances, all of your transactions, but when you send with another Bitcoin BitKey user, they might be able to see those transactions and put them together as well. This isn't unheard of. There are companies out there like Unchained, Casa, that are multi-sig service providers that help you set up a vault in this way. They hold a key on your behalf if you ever lost it for inheritance purposes. But those companies are acting like a service company. They're not acting like a hardware wallet. And that's really what BitKey is, is it's pretending to be a wallet and people think it's private, but it's more of a service than anything. It's really for those who are just kind of holding Bitcoin, letting it sit there, don't want to shoot themselves in the foot for inheritance purpose down the road. And they're not really worried about the sovereign recovery. If that company ever went out of business, if they had to go to another jurisdiction, if they wanted privacy in their transactions. But at the end of the day, I don't hate BitKey. I just think a lot of people misunderstand what it really is. Bitcoin custody is really a spectrum. There's no right or wrong answer. There's pros and cons at every level. You just got to choose what's best for you, understand the trade-offs. I just want to give you an honest review of the BitKey, try it myself, and not be one of those influencers that are just paid by BitKey to teach you how it works. I bought it with my own money and wanted to give you an honest Bitcoiners review. If you like this video, I've got other videos on my channel on how to use a real hardware wallet or other multi-sig services for inheritance. Be happy to help answer any questions you have, and uh, thanks for watching.